Okay, welcome to another podcast and episode. Um, okay, for my my latest book, book three of S A I. Sorry, let me turn this off. Okay, Secret Agents of Illuminati, book three. Okay, um, so my my previous narrator had some issues with this book him his day job being a minister and this being too dark so he turned me he said he refused so can't really blame him he's a preacher you know and I'm surprised he did the last one probably why he asked for an advanced copy to read to proof it see what he's getting into so yeah, so we hired a guy named Mason Tell. Another awesome name, okay? You gotta have an awesome name. I mean, my previous narrator, John Moriarty, of distinct utterance, that was a really cool sounding name and uh, name of his business, his studio for his, you know, audio stuff. But uh, Mason Tell, I, I think he's gonna be a better fit for us. Yeah, I just get the feeling that he's gonna be a better fit. And it's uh, Mason Tell of uh, Avalon Studios. So, yeah, I think he's going to do pretty good. So, we're excited. I have a sample I will play in the video. And you, so you can see it and get some excitement going. And, uh, yeah. I. While this did go dark, and I've uh, started writing book four, and that's darker. So, yeah. It is what it is. But I, I'm excited about it. So, yeah. Um, here's, the, here's the clip that we'll be playing. So, enjoy what's more to come. SAI Secret Agents of the Illuminati Book 3 Written by Celeste Stacy, narrated by Mason Tell. In Budapest, the Frenchman is at a cafe enjoying a hot cup of coffee while reading the newspaper, when a dark and mysterious man sits down abruptly. Without looking up from his paper, the Frenchman greets him. Morning, doctor. How long has it been? Dr. Death exclaims with a smirk, Hmm, 1945. The Frenchman nods in agreement and speaks, Not really pleased with your Andy work on Jack. Dr. Death replies, Oh, come now, mm, the Medusa curse saved his life and enhanced him mm, a bit. <laughs> he chuckles. Is a hideous wretch, the Frenchman exclaims. He continues in a calmer tone. <clears throat> but why the pleasure of this meeting? Special operation coming down the pike. Been told the awards banquet for the SAI will be held planet side, the doctor informs the Frenchman. The Frenchman listens, then voices his opinion on the matter. You know, maybe we should cut our losses with these girls. And maybe just work on our criminal enterprises to make some money. I've come to realize that with revenge, you have to dig two graves. One for your enemy, and one for yourself. Dr. Death sits for a minute, in silence, taking in what he just heard. Then he reasons. Hmm, it's more than simple revenge. We are fighting for control of our people, and everything is at stake. Now, once we go back to our home world, we need to be in control of the council. Right now, we already control three members. The Frenchman fed up on the matter. Bah! Time to move on. We lost our chance back in 1865. In the fair attraction of the SAI. He sits back, crosses his legs, and sips his coffee. Dr. Death, ready to lose his temper with his fellow henchman, asks impatiently. Look, are you in or not? Or 
Should I tell Jack you rather not help me? The Frenchman simply states, This is the last time. And if we fail, I'm out. And a free agent. Got it? The doctor nods. And they both go their own ways in Budapest. Okay, you listen to that, that, the audio clip of the uh, of, of the audio book that we're producing. It's totally awesome, ain't it? Right. So you know more information on my books on because there's audio books for one, two, and then we're working on three, and then there's also an audio book for Tales, and Tales is a, a second series based off of the first series. So. Go ahead and enjoy those those series. You know, you know, you read the ebook or get the paperback or buy the audio book and listen to the audio book. But uh, go to my website, more info, information there, secretnardy.com. And uh, yeah, enjoy. This is Celeste Stacy. Have a good weekend.